and it is just really, uh, it's really interesting. Yeah, the Second Amendment, of course, we all know, well rate regulated militia being necessary for the security of free state. The right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. This one's being skewered all over the place. And I tell you what, I'm going to dedicate an entire show just to that. Because uh, the punctuation, punctuation, the explanation of the Second Amendment, I'm going to go into the Federalist Papers, I'm going to go to the different state constitutions and how they've put their uh, right to bear arms. Uh, so it used to be like, yeah, we got the right to bear arms. We're, we're badass. And now it's being demonized and propaganda. Of course, the sheep are following right along. Apparently, if you own a gun, you have a small penis. Well, that may be true for some of us, but <laughs> that's not true for the majority, I would think. Uh, the Third Amendment is kind of outdated, I think. Uh, no soldier shall, in time of peace, be quartered in any house without the consent of the owner, nor in time of war, but in a manner as to be prescribed by law. Basically, uh, if... Uh, you know, back in the day, soldiers would come in and they'd take over towns. They'd go in and they'd kick people out of their homes and use them as billets. Well, this was an amendment preventing that. Uh, Fourth Amendment, the right of the people to be secure in their persons, houses, papers, and effects against unreasonable searches and seizures shall not be violated, and no warrant shall issue but upon probable cause, supported by oath of affirmation and particular and particularly describing the place to be searched or the persons to be, or things to be seized. Uh, this comes up big time in the uh, no refusal weekends we have down here in Texas uh, with DWI enforcement, where everybody says, well, it's a violation of my rights to take blood from my body without my, without my permission. Uh, and I bring up the fact that when a mandatory blood draw is taken, when a when a no refusal weekend is 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 going on, uh, before that blood is taken out of the body, an entire process has to be gone. This could be an hour and a half after the time of stop before the blood gets drawn. So it's a very long process following the Fourth Amendment, so that a judge signs off on a on a probable cause affidavit, uh, giving them permission to legally to take uh, blood as evidence in a DWI case. Mm -hmm. So that's where the Fourth Amendment, I've got the most, it, being a police officer, that is the foundation of everything that a police officer does is the Fourth Amendment. Probable cause. You need probable cause. Probably cause. You call it probably cause. Probably cause you did. <laughs> uh, but police officers need a probable cause. And uh, if they don't, they, they don't got nothing. Uh, a lot of times that mandatory blood draw and stuff gets confused with the Fifth Amendment. Pleading the Fifth, no person shall be held to answer for a capital or otherwise infamous crime unless a presentment or indictment of a grand jury, except in cases arising in the land or naval force or the militia when in actual service in time of war or public danger nor shall any person be subject for the same offense to be twice in jeopardy of life or limb, nor shall he be compelled in any criminal case to be a witness against himself, nor be deprived of life, liberty, or property without due process of law, nor shall private property be taken for public use without compensation. So this one actually covers a lot more than just not saying anything in your defense. Uh... As far as a criminal case goes, this is it means that you don't have to say anything. The burden of proof is on the prosecution, and you are innocent until proven guilty. That's how it's supposed to work. But this Fifth Amendment covers a lot of things, doesn't it? You cannot be held to answer for a capital crime, which is murder, unless you're indicted by a grand jury. Except in time of war, when actually killing somebody is ex what you're going to be doing. So that you can't be tried for murder in times of war. Because uh, that's what you're supposed to be doing is killing somebody, right? <laughs> also, double jeopardy. Uh, nor shall any person be subject to the same offense, be twice be put in jeopardy of life and limb, and shall be compelled in any criminal case. So, so, so basically, if I get tried for murder, 
in a criminal case and I'm found not guilty, uh, you can't try me again for that same murder. You cannot just keep trying people over and over again. It's just one and done, man. I mean, it can be a hung jury or something like that, or uh, if somebody has an appellate process they can go through. It. Most of the defenders, uh, you know, if they get one and done, man, they're out. Like, thank you very much. Thank you for playing. Tap it out. <laughs> but it also sneaks in there, no private property should be taken for public use without just compensation. We just had something very similar to this down at Bundy Ranch. A uh, guy's been herding cattle for decades, and now all of a sudden the government has decided that a government entity that has no land but is kind of like the property manager, a federal property manager, has levied what this rancher, Bundy, feels is an unfair levy, an unfair uh, usage fee for this federal land that's in Nevada. Well, first things first, uh, the only federal land that the that the government can own, that the United States government can own, is a military reservation or any federal buildings, like say a federal courthouse uh, or a military institution like Fort Hood. Then they can they can get land uh, to for that. But other than that, if they want to build a highway through Farmer Botnick's farm, they got to pay. They got to compensate, and it's got to be just. You know what I think is interesting about the Constitution? The more I read it, is that I understand why we have such low voter turnout, and I understand why candidates can just tell us whatever they want to tell us, and like sheep, we just blindly follow. You know, you got guys that are Snapchatting their penises to, to, to women getting elected. Because people aren't paying attention. They want comfort. They, uh, they, they, you know, they know what a phone looks like. Uh, you know, they know what a house phone looks like. Uh, you know, they know what... They know all these comfortable things. And when they call people on the house phone, these are the people that have been voting the same way years and years. You know, they're not into the high technology stuff. So, you know, I don't know, this guy, this wiener, his last name's even wiener. <laughs> uh, you know, Snapchat's his penis to a bunch of women, and he's okay with it. You know, everybody's voting him in, but I bet you if they read the Constitution and, and had knowledge. See, that's the thing. You've got to have knowledge. Uh, knowledge is what's going to get you voting for the right people. It's going to so that money that the money that's spent on candidates isn't an effect. You know, just because you spent more money doesn't mean you have a, a bigger or better edge over somebody else. Uh, I think uh, with education and the voting process, all right here in the Constitution. I mean, it's, it's fascinating. I mean, here's the Amendment 6. How many times has this one followed? In all criminal cases, all criminal prosecutions, the accused shall enjoy the right to a speedy and public trial by an impartial jury of the state and district wherein the crime shall have been committed, which district shall have been a previously ascertained by law and to, and to be informed of the nature and cause of the accusation to be confronted with the witnesses against him, and to have compulsory process for obtaining witnesses in his favor, and to have the assistance of counsel for his defense. Basically, all these, uh, all these guys sitting in death row for 20 years before they get the needle, that's not a speedy tr uh, appellate process, is it? Anybody ever take a ticket to a jury trial, like a speeding ticket? It's like six, seven months later. <laughs> kind of backlogged. And it says here, basically, uh, they have a chance to uh, to face the witnesses that are accusing him, and also gather witnesses of his own for his own defense, and then have the use of a lawyer. He cannot be denied the use of a lawyer. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, Eighth Amendment. 
Excessive bail should not be required, nor excessive fines imposed or cruel and unusual punishment inflicted. Uh, sometimes, you know, I'd like to overlook this one, especially when you're dealing with a pedophile. And then the Tenth Amendment is the one that's most important to me. The power is not delegated to the United States by the Constitution, nor prohibited by it to the state, are reserved to the states respectively, or to the people, which means if it's not covered here, the individual people of that region or place where they live have the opportunity to add to their circumstance how they see fit. And the rest of the country doesn't have to follow that model. I don't think people understand that. Anyway, let's take the last break of the night, man. I, I tell you, this three hours goes by quick. Absolutely goes by. It's smoking by. Uh, we'll be right back. I'm Mike Allen. This is the Armed Radio Global Network, and you are on the air. It's so hard to keep up to date on all the latest game and movie trailers. Do you wish there was a way to go to one site and be updated on all the newest information? There is. Check out Game and Movie Trailers on Facebook. It's a social media site that takes care of all your game and movie trailers. Check them out on Facebook, Game and Movie Trailers. Also, subscribe to their page on YouTube. Your search for love and companionship ends here. Join now at TalkToSingles.com for free. It's a new, high-quality, internet-based personal dating service that allows single men and single women to meet and engage in electronic conversation in the safety and comfort of their home computer. It's a dedicated team providing online dating services for successful matchmaking. Join today absolutely for free and start connecting with singles in your area now. And check out the Android app. Go to TalkToSingles.com. That's talk number two, singles.com. Route 106 Motors is the home of fine pre-owned vehicles. Experience a no-pressure sale with a family-friendly atmosphere. Route 106 Motors has been practicing the same simple philosophy of low prices for over a decade, and it has brought us great success. Recently, while other dealers are closing their doors, Route 106 Motors is expanding. We are a wholesale dealer, and we own the property and pay cash for all the vehicles. This allows us to sell to the consumer for a lot less than the average dealership. We are a high-volume, small-profit dealer, and we pass the savings on to you. New changes have been made at Route 106 Motors. Stop by and check out our brand-new building. Route 106 Motors, located at 569 West Street. Check our website at Route106Motors.com and be sure to like us on Facebook to find out about all the latest deals and savings opportunities. Route106Motors.com Are you looking to buy prescription eyeglasses? Family owned and operated, iFramePros.com is your online store for prescription eyeglasses. Select the eyewear of your choice from our variety of frames, fill out the prescription information, and place your order in no time. After this quick and easy process, you'll receive your prescription glasses in a few days. All major credit cards accepted. Visit us at iframepros.com. That's E-Y-E framepros.com. See what you are missing. Hi, I'm Yanni Polanco, America's fitness sweetheart. I invite you to jump the weight off and sweat the weight off with me. Jump the weight off is the high energy jump pro workout DVD available on Amazon.com and fitnessbyyanni.com. Jump it up and sweat it off. Jump it up and sweat it off with me. For more info, please call 1-800-590-7294. Do you ever commit, have a problem saying no to your kids, your boss, and your relatives? That just might be why you're feeling stressed and out of balance. Go to CherylSaysNo.com, that's S-H-E-R-Y-L SaysNo.com, and learn for free six tips on how to say no without sounding passive or aggressive. Visit CherylSaysNo.com today. I bust a shot on them. 
and one. For real though, I'm trying to see what that thing do. If what up, this your boy strong, Majesty the God. Too. Make Black sure you go pick up the hottest the single that's track. out right now. All track. systems go on iTunes and Google Play. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Majesty D A G O D 80 in the